In this question, we will compute integrals using direct computation and rules. Here we have been told to find the integral of this. Here we have a constant and then the variable x. But all of these can be directly solved in the calculator. Let me show you how. You have the integral symbol, but we are not going to use integral because the issue is we don't have the limit if you use the integral symbol. But if you use the derivative symbol, we have only an x value. We can assume an x value and consider that to be. So now before I start this, let me just tell you how this works. Say for example, I have to find the integral of say 3x squared dx. What will be the answer? What is the answer? The answer will be if you integrate this, it will be 3x cubed by 3 plus c which is equal to x cubed plus c. Now if I derive this, 3 comes down to be x squared, I'm getting this question, isn't it? So basically, if I derive this, it is this part. Now, that means if I derive this d by dx of x cubed with respect to x, say I'll take it as 2. What must be the value? It'll be 3 times 4 is 12. Let me show you over here. It'll be x cubed at x value of 2 will be 12. Now the same thing, the given question without the integral, just the question 3x squared, calculate this at 2 and here we go, answer is 12. So that should match. Whichever matches, yes, that means it is correct. So now the same thing we are going to apply over here. This is 1 divided by square root a squared. Now the problem is we don't know what's a. I'll just assume the value a to be 3 x to be 2. I generally take x as 2 but in certain cases we will have to change. Say for example the question is becoming undefined then we will have to change the x value. But here now we will substitute instead of a as 3 squared minus x squared. Make it a habit to put x as x itself and then calculate what is the x value 2. Now I got this value 0 0.447, it's 0 0.447, Now then, I will have to find the derivative, shift d by dx of all these four and then I'll get it. So here let me try with this first one, sine inverse of a that is 3 divided by x, close the bracket and the x value was 2. Is it? No, it's wrong, it's math error. So that means I'm not going to get the answer over here. But this one was sign inverse. Let me just try that before I change the others. It's x divided by 3 and x is equal to, oh yes, it is matching. So this is the correct answer. It's option C here. But let me try the other two as well. Let me check the tan inverse. So it's tan inverse, shift and tan. And now you can see it is not matching. And what about secant inverse? Okay, now this is an important thing because secant inverse, we might find other problems as well. I told you we don't have secant, so we use 1 by cosine. Or we don't have cosecant, so we use 1 by sine. Or we don't have cotangent, so we use 1 by tan. But when it is inversed, please remember, secant inverse means you need to do directly cos inverse and 1 by the term, 1 by x, if it's cos inverse x, it's this is the formula. So what happens over here is exactly, now anyways, this is the wrong answer, but you need to put cos inverse, shift and cosine, cos inverse, and this will be changed, it will be 1 divided by, again divided by x by 3, or you can just swap it 3 by x. But it's wrong. This is not the answer. So that's how we can easily solve any integral problem just by this. Let's look in the next one as well. Here we have to just put this part. Now make sure it's in radian mode. Uh, it's already in radian mode but otherwise you should press shift mode and 4. Then let me type in sine 6 times x. Close the bracket and calculate x at 2. It is, let me write it out over here minus 0 0.5365 and then what do we have here we have four options shift dy by dx 
negative 1 by 6, cosine 6x, close the bracket, and the value over here is 2. Is that matching? Oh, in fact, it is. So that is the correct answer. But none of the others would have matched. Let me just change it over here. If it matches, then that means there are two correct answers that cannot be possible. So it would be wrong. So here we go. This not matching. You can try the others. It won't match. What about cosecant? Here, if you have to try cosecant, then it would have been 1 divided by sine 6x. This is how we write it. 6 times x. And here, it's not matching. So that's the thing. Only when it's inverse, if it was cosine inverse, then you write sine inverse up only, and then you put this. But if it is directly co cosecant, then it's 1 by sine. So these are the formulas. You need to remember these formulas. And you can try them by yourselves. So we have tried already these. I'll just do this exponential e to the power a. I'm just going to assume as... 3 and alpha x, let me calculate it at 2, the answer is 403.43. Now, you need to know the answers, oh, yeah, the answer is given, shift dy by dx. You will have four options, you need to try all of them and then conclude which is the correct one. Here it will be shift e 3 times x and the x value is 2 and the answer is 403.4. Similarly, you can try the others, all of them will, we have done this, all of them will give you the correct answer because you have options with you. And similarly, over here now, you remember, okay, the question is wrong, over here there's B, but remember what you need to do is cosine inverse and then 1 by this. Let me do this over here. Now here, when I looked at the question, I realized something very important. It's x squared minus a squared. So here... If you, let's imagine we are taking x value of 2 and a value of 3. It's inside the square root. It's going to be 4, that's 2 squared is 4, minus 3 squared is 9, you will have square root of negative 5. Is this possible? It's not because this is an imaginary number. So here you need to change the value of x. I usually take x as 2, but I'll just stick to a as 3. Now look here, this B value is there. In fact, this is missing. The question has to be B over here. Let me take the B value of 4. And then what I'm going to do is, just to be on the safer side, X value as 5. Okay, the last value. So now let us first type everything in the given question. What is the question here? It is B is 4 divided by... Now, you can use the modulus symbol. Most of the time, even if you don't use it, it's okay. But certain times, it's better to put it. Shift and HYP, you get modulus. So that means, both positive and negative, it will only be positive. Positive will be considered. So, and since we are not assuming any of the values negative, so it doesn't matter much, but it's better to have it anyways. Alpha X, and multiply it with the square root of X squared minus... What is a squared value? It is 3 squared. See, now if I calculate this, say, at 2, let me try it at 2 itself. I'll get a math error. Why? Because I'm getting imaginary number. So I need to calculate phi. In certain cases, when you don't get the answer, you get a math error or something like that, or 0, change the assumed x value. So this is 0 0.2. So here, for this condition, the value is 1 by phi or 0 0.2. So now what I need to do is this particular answer, I must get the same thing. But I need to derive shift dy by dx. What was b? b was 4 divided by modulus of 3. Multiply this with secant inverse. So it will be cosine inverse. And then you need to put the x value here. So now one more thing. I know it, I can't, if after cos inverse, I can't take x and a, it should be swapped. Or you can write it as 1. And again, you need to write x divided by a, that is 3. I hope this is clear because for inverse, we don't write 1 by cos inverse. We write cos inverse and then 1 by x by 3. And here then, what do we do is close this bracket. And another bracket is closed. What is the x value? See, I will show you. If I put 2, I'll get a math error. 
If I put anything less than 3, I believe I'll get a math error 3. Oh, that's 23. It's too big. But I resumed 5, so I'll assume over here as well 5. And do we get it correctly? Yes, we are getting 0 0.2. So that's correct. Now, even you, could, you could have taken 4. You will get some value because 4 would be it's 0. But then it's still a complication. So always in such cases, take a proper value more than that. So it's positive inside the square root. So answer is 2, 0 0.2. So this is the correct answer. Whereas all the other options can be eliminated. Only one will match the given question. It was 1 by 5, 0 0.2. And this particular answer only matches it. Similarly, please do try these by yourselves. They're all pretty straightforward. And here as well. And lastly, we have got these. So in the exam, you need to try all the four options and whichever doesn't match, you need to just eliminate it. And make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Only then this will work. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.